This is what it looks like inside Israel's closed-off ultra-Orthodox communities. Entering their neighborhoods without permission can get you in serious trouble and can potentially be dangerous. If they don't like what you're wearing or what you're doing, they'll tell you off and force you out of their neighborhood. There has even been reports of outsiders getting stoned for not following their strict rules. The Haredi Jews, otherwise known as ultra-Orthodox, see the modern world as sinful. Here, people dress conservatively, study Jewish texts, and avoid all contact with non-Jews and non-Haredi Jews. They also follow a strict dress code, especially for women. Men typically wear black suits paired with white shirts, as well as a kippah or a hat. But their most distinctive feature is their side curls. Haredi women dress modestly, wearing long skirts and long-sleeved blouses. Married women hide their hair with a wig or a scarf. Only about half of Haredi men have jobs. The rest spend every day in yeshivas, studying the Torah and the Talmud. However, that's the biggest reason Haredi Jews are so controversial in Israel. Everyone in the country not only has to pay high taxes, but also has to do military service for two years. Haredi men don't have to work or do military service, and the government pays them to study the Torah. Most Jews say that ultra-Orthodox should pay their own way and serve their country. Many Haredi Jews have restricted restrictions on internet use, and some communities discourage or ban it entirely. If the internet is used, it's often limited to necessary purposes like work or religious reasons, and filters are used to block inappropriate content. There are even kosher phones available in the Haredi market that have internet, video, and camera features disabled. Because they stay far away from technology, many people get their news and information by reading posters and newspapers. The Sabbath, or Shabbat, is one of the most important religious practices for Haredi Jews, observed from Friday's sunset through Saturday's sunset. During Shabbat, they must abstain from 39 categories of activities, including using electricity, driving, writing, and cooking. Marriages are often arranged, and large families are common, with many families having more than eight children. Haredi Jews live in close-knit communities to help maintain their religious and cultural purity, but there's one neighborhood in Israel that is generally off-limits. Mea Sharim is the most extreme Jewish ultra-Orthodox neighborhood in the world. Here, the people People only want to talk, look at, and interact with other Haredi Jews. If you're caught taking videos or happen to offend them in the slightest way, they'll scold you and kick you out. Ultra-Orthodox Jews live in a way that's very different from most people today. Their lives revolve around strict rules, from what they wear and eat to how they spend their time. They live a life separate from the modern world, including technology, and focus heavily on their religious practices. Their choice to live isolated from mainstream society helps them to avoid distractions from their faith and traditions.